Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about last night's episode of Life After Lockup because finally, Puppy and Amber address Puppy's W, her warrant, her wanted status, and this has been a big question mark amongst us that follow the show for months. I believe it was soon after last season of Life After Lockup wrapped. I, I remember doing an update and it was, I want to say it was at least six or seven months ago. I would have to go back and check that puppy's parole status had been changed from parole to wanted, not absconder. We've seen that happen we saw that happen, I think, with Dylan, and then he got taken into custody. So a lot of people were like, what is going on? And it was never addressed. And we saw Puppy posting on social media. Then she's cast on the show again. I was like, is this just like a clerical error? What is going on? Then I interviewed Amber a couple weeks ago. I'll actually link that interview down in the description. And I asked her about it. I was like, look, what's going on? And she said, oh, you'll have to wait and see. So I was like, cool, at least this is going to be addressed on the show. And then finally, it was. So last night, we found out what happened and why Puppy is now in a bit of hot water regarding her parole status. So take a look at what happened last night. Eric's not going to go for that. Me being gone like that. Why not? Okay, really, I have, you know, a... I can't do that right now. I got to take care of some things. Why? What do you mean? Like a, a W. Warrant? Mm -hmm. For what? Moved without permission. She could end up back in prison. Yeah, when I mean, you catch new charges, usually they're gonna, they're gonna take two years automatically. Oh, sir. She put a warrant out on me. I was like, that is my address. I don't know what else to tell you. Yeah. Just a week ago, my parole officer comes to see me. I was not there, and an irrelevant person who was unauthorized to even speak to my parole officer, and um, she told my parole officer that I did not live there. I do worry that puppy's dragging her feet about a little bit because she's a runner. Puppy's a runner. While this answered a lot of questions, I still brings up even more questions. One of the biggest questions I've had about this show is what is the culpability of production to, I don't know, report if a, you know, parolee is absconding or is in violation of their parole. We saw that happen with Maurice, that a lot of people talked about. Now we see it with Puppy. We've even seen before where it's been like, should that person be driving? I That happened with Lacey and Shannon, but it, it it brings into question what is the culpability of producers? Is it do can they get away with just saying, hey, we're here to shoot the show and whatever they do is on them? I'm sure they have some sort of waiver or some sort of liability insurance that says, hey, like we're just shooting a show. But still, it is very interesting when you see parolees like put put their freedom at risk additionally I think this also brings up an interesting point just to how slow the court systems can move because this happened months ago at least six or seven months ago and I have not seen any reports that puppy is behind bars so unless we TV buried that story, which I'm not putting anything past them, but um, I think that sarcasm, someone would have gotten a hold of that and we would know if Puppy was serving time currently. So that just goes to show how slowly the court system works. And that's, you know, I guess on the one hand, sometimes that can work in people's favor because, hey, like they might not. I, we just saw in the Jeffrey Paschal case, he just went to trial for something that happened in 2019. And granted, there was a global pandemic going on that definitely delayed things. But still, that that probably worked out in his favor that the court system is so slow. Um, but on the other hand, let's 
uh, it, let's say you're behind bars waiting for some sort of exoneration and the court systems are taking forever, that could be incredibly frustrating. Another thing that was interesting to me is just the levels of freedom different parolees can have. It seems like it entirely depends on the state you live, maybe the county you live in, and really the parole officer you have, which that again can be frustrating. If, let's say you have a super hard ass that's just gonna, you know, violate you for everything. And then it, you know, it looks like puppy is looking at a mandatory two years if she's found in violation, that's serious time. So you would think you would really want to mind your P's and Q's if you were out on parole, if you were puppy. But like Amber said, she's a runner. She also seems like she is kind of spiraling at the moment. We also saw that last season on Life After Lockup. So on the one hand, that that is a whole other story of being really heartbreaking to watch. But we've seen... You know, I think Lindsay, Doug, um, even Maurice, but his drama has kind of been off the show uh, with the amount of freedom they have with the ankle monitor. Like Lindsay and Doug had to be like, Doug, do you remember when the lights went out and he had to charge his um, his ankle monitor in the car because you do not want to violate your parole? And then it seems like it, it seemed like this maybe wouldn't have been that big of a deal with puppy, but she had like a snitch neighbor or something that just was like, oh yeah, uh, Michelle hasn't lived here in X amount of time or, or whatever. So it, it is interesting to me that it seems like depending on where you parole, you can have a completely different experience with the level of intrusiveness into your life. With that being said, you guys will have to let me know what you think of this explanation. If you are familiar with the parole system and have any insights to add, please let us know down in the comments. We do see it was teased in the trailer for this season that somebody we just see their feet but somebody goes back to prison and I don't know if we're getting a prison interview with them and I have always thought it's either puppy or John I'm not sure so anyways let me know what you guys think it will be interesting if it does turn out that it's puppy because like I said earlier we just have not heard anything about her being taken back into custody so who knows what will happen, but what? let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Much love.